an amazing soundtrack that sounds like something out of a, a Taibo home VHS workout session. I feel like I'm in a club, but I love it. I love the soundtrack. I kind of want this to be my soundtrack whenever I'm, whenever I'm driving around. Just like, Mojo Combat! Love it. Look at that sky, man. So real. Don't do it. Bro. Bro, why are you even trying? Damn! <laughs> this is not a fight. This is a this is a knockdown. This is a beatdown. Oh! He broke his ass! You will be next. Liu Kang, brother dead, return home, grandpa. <laughs> okay, first of all, who writes a telegram that says that little? Nothing like, hey, uh, I'm so sorry about your loss, but hey, you need to come home. I love punctuality in a woman. Maybe me and Sonya should share a cabin. This guy reminds me of the guy from Game of Thrones. The one who's like, does she like a finger in her bum? Johnny Cage! This dance. Then I'm gonna shoot well, myself for being in your movie! movie. Look, kill me, I'll be back He's right so melodramatic. Back. Doesn't he have a movie to finish? Oh, shit. The Temple of Light in China. It's actually pretty dull. How can you, a wise man, believe this? We all believe in it. I mean, I kind of understand why they believe it, too. I mean, it's a, it doesn't seem like they have a whole lot of entertainment where they live. Oh, is that right on? <laughs> That's so much simpler. I was literally just thinking Liu Kang, main character, pretty diverse cast, and then Lord Raiden showed up. The whitest man that I've ever seen in temple robes. That's uh, Christopher Lambert. I just watched him in Highlander, a movie I've never seen before. Also, fairly cheesy and very stiff. You are sick. So you're going to win the tournament. Is it me, or does Christopher Lambert sometimes look like he's kind of cross-eyed? Or he doesn't know where to look? Whoa! Ooh, razzle dazzle. Yes! Sub-Zero. Scorpion. Now we're getting into like the fan service kind of stuff, because up until now it's been kind of meh. Now we're, now things are heating up. So cool. Move aside. Oh, shit. You done goofed. Oh, what the fuck? See, back when I uh, used to play the game, I've never, I don't remember Scorpion's hand actually opening up and having a live creature come out of it. He just kind of took like a, a rope and, and flung it, right? Like a spear, but this bad guy is amazing. I know he's, he knows exactly what kind of movie he's in, and he's playing it perfectly. <laughs> They're fun. They seem to me like they have like sort of a um, Princess Leia and Han Solo type of vibe. Like the writers were trying to emulate that. While you're at it, why don't you, you know, call my she's always annoyed. He's trying to be overly charming. Oh, dude, fuck you, man. Take one bag at a time. What are you, Johnny Cage? Is like, of course he does. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. Whoa. <laughs> oh shit. What was that? I legit thought he was just a statue. Oh shit. The black guy's gonna die right away. M mainly because he's been given the least amount of uh, character development thus far. Bro! That was a good spread. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Again, more cannon fodder. He's just there to die. I'm getting like an Indiana Jones vibe where he's, he's flexing way too hard and Sub-Zero's gonna do like the bare minimum. Oh! <laughs> I love the 90s CGI. It's campy and weird. I like it. You know, I gotta admit, Goro, who looks like he's straight out of like the Scorpion King or something like that, he's not terrible looking. Like, there's some really bad special effects in this, but it's not that bad. Yes! Man, every time the music comes back, I'm like... It makes the entire movie so much better. I mean, the fighting is... Not great. <laughs> it's not great. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Raiden. You silly bastard. So up until this point, I gotta say, like, Liu Kang is probably like, the most authentic. And Johnny Cage and Sonya just seem like actors who are trying to be martial artists, but they're just not, they're not doing it. Look at this guy. He knows what he's doing. I feel like whenever you have these fights and the people they're fighting are characters that have no names, you don't know who they are. You know they're not gonna win. Ooh! 
That was a good kick. And he jumps back. I love this guy. Uh, it's the eyebrows. The eyebrows make this character. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, look at that. That was some cheesy ass graphics. Hey, darling. Kano doesn't seem like a threat. Like, all I've seen him do is eat like a chicken leg. So, I don't know. Not to be a dick, but like, it doesn't look like the actress who played Sonya got in great shape to play the character. Like, she doesn't have guns, she doesn't have biceps, so like, when she's hitting this giant dude, I don't buy it. I don't buy that it has any effect on him at all. Oh, give me a break. Okay. Ah, uh, waka waka. I don't buy that at all. Oh, what happened? Where are we? Johnny Cage, Scorpion, lots of trees. Ah! I don't know if that's cool or stupid. It's a little bit of both. Oh, he said the line. Whoa! That's why they're in the place with all the trees. You need the trees so that he can run away from that. Whatever that is. Oh, come on. That is so... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, shit! Now we're in hell. Way to go. Whoa. Ooh. None of those kicks are, are connected. Look at that. Quit it! Nice. Did I ever tell you I was a gymnast? Right? This is like, in what reality would you ever need to do a spinny spin like a gymnast other than Mortal Kombat? Get down here! <laughs> so we got get over here, get back here, and come down here. Scorpion. Oh, shit! I mean, run? It's kinda cool. It's stupid, but it's pretty cool. That works. <laughs> Come on! I like Johnny Cage, but they did... They did Scorpion dirty. To my greatest fan, Johnny Cage. That's from the game, alright. Hey now. Are we fighting? Are we doing? Or what are we doing? Ooh, it's a sexy fight. These fights are very one way or the other. We're either on a beach with no background, no audience, uh, kind of doing this stuff, or we're in hell with Scorpion and Johnny Cage. There's no in-between. They just happen. Characters show up, and they just kind of boom, go into it, and I'm fine with that because this movie doesn't need any filler, but I will admit it does seem a little like, what are we doing? I don't mind it. I think it gets a pass in this scenario because uh, you get a lot of fights out of the movie. Fight! I don't think Sub-Zero could win without using his, like, Frost Blasts. It doesn't seem fair, right? Like, whenever he's doing, like, regular combat, he's kind of getting his ass kicked. And it's like, well, that's not fighting. That's like pulling out a gun and being like, boom! Take your time. Just feels like shooting. Oh! <laughs> it's like so over the top. That was great. These must be all the nameless other human beings that tried to play Mortal Kombat. Fair enough, we got things to do with this movie, we gotta move her- oh shit. This guy has no shot. Yeah, alright, you got this. You got this in the bag, buddy. Oh shit. Yeah, get up! Stop sleeping on the job! I know he's ten feet tall and has, uh, you know, five, four fists. <laughs> yeah, you got one kick in! That's kind of lame. I thought he was gonna like rip his head off, pull him apart. I will say this much: this is very much a PG-13 movie. Like I'm so used to the video games where like blood is splattering out and you know people's eyeballs are getting ripped open and like they're just bloody, bloody, bloody. It was known for being bloody, even the original games. <laughs> oh come on! No! They're so dramatic. It's fun, but... Did they really think that Art was gonna win? That is a pretty delicious way to suck souls. Through your eyes. I like it. This movie kind of gives me vibes of like the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies from like the 90s. I guess because it's like a 90s movie, but like the decor, the acting, the set design, all of it feels like the turtles from the 90s. <laughs> Balls of steel. Oh man, that's some real 1995 action going on there. Why can't he follow? So I guess uh, Christopher Lambert was only paid X amount of dollars and uh, we have reached that point. He's off the set, he is done. I don't think we saw him fight anybody though, did we? I don't know, I don't think we did. Oh shit. 
Get him! What in the... What is going on? Oh. Okay. Music's back! You know, I completely forgot there was a third. Here we go. Get him! Go over here! Obviously it's not Scorpion, but he does grunt a lot like Scorpion. It's a good fight though. See, these are the fights that I like. You know, not that bullshit where like, uh, Goro kinda either, you know, kills a guy or Goro gets tossed up the side of a building. Like, this is an actual fight. You know, the less, uh, CGI involved, the better the fight actually is. Yes! <laughs> a lot of flips. Whenever they do like the callbacks to the video games, it's always the best part for me. I know it's fan service, but fuck, I recognize that. I get that reference. <laughs> Music's back. That's how you know it's home. I feel like I'm in an arcade though, which works, but it's very much a 90s. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> so dramatic. Now men on trampolines breaking through uh, some some sheetrock. There's something about this that makes me kind of think of like the Power Rangers too, a little bit like the Power Rangers movie. Those guys jumping out of the. the Trampolines and whatnot. Come on, dumb. There should be a rule in Mortal Kombat. Like you can't, any, you can't. There should be rules. There's no rules. If you want to bring ten souls to come fight on your behalf, you can do it. If you want to push somebody off a mountain, you can do it. It's Mortal Kombat, baby. There should be some regulations though. All right. Can't. What now? I like how they conveniently dropped in a circle. Hello. It's like, thanks for making me have to run up these fucking stairs. We could have just fought down there. You know that's not him, right? Like, you watched him morph. No. Some bullshit. He didn't even, like, go behind a corner and do it. He did it I'm right in you. front of you. <laughs> he, I love how he looks genuinely shocked when he goes back. Come on. I can't be mad. I love how campy it actually is. So, face off. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't stand there. Not a good idea. Oh, shit! <laughs> Get him! There's a fireball. Ooh. See, that's what I mean. Like, it's very tame for Mortal Kombat. I'm so used to giant, bloody, you know, exploding guts. Like, I don't think there's even any blood. That's, that's kind of cool. All right, guys, what are we doing? All oh, right, him. You cheeky bastard. Ha 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 ha. I don't think so. No, oh, there it is. Sequel. Oh, before he was Paul W.S. Anderson, he was just Paul Anderson. Um, alright guys, so... Wow. Just wow. Uh, that movie... I, I enjoyed the shit out of that movie. I thought it was gonna be kind of, like, stupid and dated, and it is. But there's still a lot of joy and fun to get out of this campy 90s what have he movie it is i don't know it, it it's like face off or con air like you know it's bad and like i said it's kind of like the uh, uh ninja turtles a little bit um uh, but it's a fun movie it knows exactly what it wants to be i give it uh, like a five out of ten or something like that i mean it it's a fun movie to watch like i'm glad i watched it it's nice having this history lesson but man, oh man, was there a missed opportunity. Uh, Bridget Wilson, I think that's Sonya. She was kind of bad. Um, obviously, the the white American actors, you know, it, it doesn't quite work. But when you have, uh, you know, like the main the main hero and the main villain going head to head, uh, they seem like they actually know how to fight a bit. And uh, yeah, it's just a good time. You, you can't, you gotta leave your brain at home. Um, it's a lot of fun. I, I like I said, the graphics could have been better, even by '95's uh, standards, but uh, they weren't terrible. Like I, they, they remind me of Ghostbusters, which is not a terrible thing. Um, I would give this movie a, a C, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Liu Kang. Uh, he was my favorite character. Johnny Cage, cheesy as fuck, trying to be like uh, Han Solo. I thought it was going to be really hard to watch, but it was pretty digestible, and I found myself laughing. The music, the score, that song, when that song comes on, man, that gets me all jazzed. I think that, that really elevated the movie to a higher point. If it didn't have that, maybe not so much. The acting is god-awful. The A lot of the scenes of the action is kind of mediocre. I had a tendency to uh, prefer the scenes where it was just more combat, more fighting, 
more martial arts and less of the really bad special effects. But then again, I did enjoy them for what they were because, you know, it's kind of, it's what you go for. You go for that over the top with Scorpion and Sub-Zero and, and Reptile. It, you know, it's a bit flawed, but I enjoyed it. I would recommend it. Um, beers probably would make it better. Yeah, if I was to watch this again, I think I would get some friends together, crack open a couple cold boys, and, and, and watch it that way, because this is a, a wonky movie. But what did you think of Mortal Kombat? Be sure to comment down below. We have the new one coming out very soon, coming out this week. I'm getting an early screener on Wednesday. My review will be up on Thursday. Um, I want to thank J. Mark, uh, J. Mark Schwarzenschuber, for joining us on this watch-along reaction. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time with this movie. I would recommend it. It... It doesn't hold up, but it has a certain charm to it that makes it uh, watchable and enjoyable. And even though I have no nostalgia for it, I could still appreciate it being a 1995 movie that reminds me of other movies that came out in the 90s, so it worked. It, it was a fun time, it was stupid, but I enjoyed it. And those are my thoughts on Mortal Kombat 1995. Be sure to comment down below, let me know what you thought. And we will see you next time.